everyone, I have no idea what you ask for New Year's, but I asked Santa to give me a beautiful castle of creativity. And in each of the workshop rooms, you're gonna see a magical surprises for you. Today, you're gonna see DIY. If you would like to learn how to decorate candles for Valentine's Day, this video is for you. If not, there's a red square over there. Or if you have windows, there's one over there. For your first water floating candle, you would need hot glue gun, bowl, tall candle holder, water, candle ornaments, red and white candles, diamonds, and hearts. Better if you find colorful diamonds. If you use clear ones, you would not see them under water. Glue your little hearts. Mine are really light, not heavy at all. Plus, they have their own stickers. I would not use those stickers today. I will use hot glue gun instead to make sure they stay on place under water. Now, place your ornaments in the bowl and then tall candle holder in the middle. Make sure it's tall enough. If you use one that is too short, it will look like the island of Atlantis inside of your candle holder. <laughs> Then I diamonds. I'm using purple. You can use red, pink, maybe even blue. But again, don't use clear ones. You won't see them underwater. On top, I'm using red diamonds, or you can call them rocks. Pour water all the way to the edges in your bowl and candle holder. Those pearls look amazing underwater. And it takes less than five minutes to make this DIY. Then add candles. Those candles I made myself at home. If you want to learn how to reuse your old candles and make new ones, you can find the link at the end of this video. For a second DIY, you would need round bowl, gold glitter, gold glitter sand. This one I found in a IKEA store. Of course, water, hot glue gun, candles, hearts, pearls, and seashells. These little seashells I found on the beach, and pearls are from my old necklace. All you need to do is glue them together. Use large pearls if you can and shells that are shiny or shimmery. It will look beautiful underwater. Now, gold glitter sand. As I said before, I found them at IKEA. You need to cover about one third or half of your bowl with sand, and then cover bottom of it with shells and hearts. You can dig them slightly under sand or just place them on top of your sand. When you will pour water, you need to be really careful so that you won't leave hole in the sand. You can use spatula or spoon to help you pull water like I did it. No holes, looks good. Now cool trick. Add glitter on top of your water. Non-glitter sand, just the regular glitter and then slowly place your water floating candles. Glitter will cover your candles, more glitter you put, more your candles will be covered. Then add more glitter so that top surface is covered. For last DIY, you would need a long flowers, bowl, water, candles, hot glue gun, side cutter plier, large and small diamonds, different hearts and pearls. 
Start with your flowers, measure right length and cut it with pliers. Try to find thin and long flowers. Here I'm using red and white, they go well together. If you don't have long flowers that can fit, you can cut small flowers and glue them together to create your own desired shape. Use hot glue gun to glue small pearls on your red flowers. Here I did a small example for you guys. Reason I'm using small pearls because leaves on my flowers are really light. If you use a large flower with big leaves like rose, for example, you can glue any size pearls to it. But remember, everything will stay underwater, so don't use fabric that will lose its shape underwater. Use strong material. For a second flower, use red hearts. Not too many, two, three is enough for elegant finish. I touch everything with hot glue gun so it stays on place underwater. Now let's build a bowl of love. Add red wax to the bottom of your bowl, then 3D hearts and place them close to glass so that you can see them better. Place both flowers inside and stick them in between of rocks so that they stay on place. Cover everything with water. If you want to, you can also add colorful water, like water and paint mix it together. And add candle on top. All those candles that you saw today, I made myself. Again, if you want to make candle yourself from some of your old candles, you can find link to that video at the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. In case if you're interested to subscribe, there is a subscription button under this video. I'm just saying. Thank you guys, and see you next time.